the question is, how do I think other people make choice, bad choices? Yeah, like you got, you know, you ended up with a good guy or, you know, you guys are going to celebrate your four year no. anniversary. It's coming up this August. Um, I think that- April, it's next month. Oh, April. Oh, April. Next- oh my well, God, I go. birthday's on. I forgot that it's our four year anniversary. <laughs> I That's even so focused on his birthday. Oh my god! See, now you're uh, gonna have to do something special. It's it's here. No, sure. I am going to. No, sure. I'm going off now. Okay. okay. Um. First of all, I had a lot of. I had like one long term relationship that I broke up with amicably because I knew we weren't meant to be. And I think that if you're a woman who's not afraid to be alone and you live inside of your self love, then you're not gonna settle for the wrong guy and um you know with Tommy we definitely were like the goalpost is always going to be love and respect it's never going to be um you know a lot of the things like the practical things like I didn't really think about like anything other than when you're 80 years old and you're wiping each other's asses do you want to make sure that that was somebody that you love respect and can laugh with so I chose somebody who was smart and funny and someone who I felt there was so much fire between us and that's how it still is like even in our very humdrum kitchen like meetups in the day where it's like "Ah, I'm so tired what do you mean you're tired like you shouldn't be tired like I've done so much more than you today like that's what he says to me every day and so we're still laughing at each other and (laughs) with each other and you know, like that's the important stuff. So if anyone like wants to find out what's important, just don't look at the temporary things. Look at the long-term things. Long-term. Well, I mean, that's good advice. And you want someone that makes you laugh. What do you think of in someone that will change your diapers when you're old? So thank you for that advice, MJ. What do you think of like, you know, you look at like, I know you, you know, I know you're up on your Bravo, Tommy, you may not know about this, but what do you think of like Teresa and Luis and, you know, this video and Margaret and there's a lot going on. Do you know what I think? I'm like, you know what? It's a total dichotomy. On one hand, I think that how she must feel to have this like love and passion and like he's going down on her and that's why she's just having pineapple and like it's this like high school smile that lights up her face and then the other side is the dark side where he's love bombing her and he has red flags coming out of every freaking angle so that's what i think well i'm just shocked you know she had a pretty public divorce you know, her kids went through a lot. She went to jail. He had, he got deported. Why go to down that road again so soon? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, if you have all the butterflies and all that great stuff and all that, all right to keep it going. Keep that going for a while. You know, why get the law involved? You know what I mean? Like, why bring you know, like why get the courts involved and why make you, you know, mean I, you mean getting engaged? No, getting engaged, getting married. I just it does that part just doesn't make sense to me. I feel like you know, it, it, what's well, the rush? Well, um, even from him, like she just been through a lot, you know what living, I mean? Even living together and buying a house together, which they well, that's don't. something. Listen, you're at a certain age, you know what you want, you know what you don't want. That's one of the things that brought to your prior question that I would give the advice about why it's so worth well. So we're older, dude. I feel like a lot of people make bad decisions when they're younger, you know what I mean? They don't see their whole life, plus, people evolve and change. You're not the same person you are at 20, but you're going to be at 30. You know what I mean? So if you get married, then they're not going to be the same person either. Things change, you know, but um, I think that it's just strange that they would go down, you know, they would do this again this fast, you know, especially as from experience on being on these shows, these shows put a a spotlight on a lot of shit, you know what I mean? And uh, they show the warts sometimes. So why put that added pressure? You know what I mean? If it's fun and everything's cool now, then let's have fun on TV for a little bit before we're going to put some, you know, you know, it, 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 you automatically get that pressure put onto you. Everyone's going to be, you know, it, it's just different. It's just different. So Teresa is basically like referred to by her husband of 20 years as her his bitch wife, right? And then she has to see that on replay over and over again 
And then she has to go to prison for him and then watch her parents not like not be around no, for, for that. Listen, don't and then on his this great, she, this she, great guy comes she didn't go to jail for no reason and she's feeling feelings that she hasn't felt for many many years and then she's just like becoming potentially like a victim of her own love bomb like it's such a high that she doesn't even know what she's doing and no prenup though like to tommy's point about rushing things it's like uh, that's bananas that's bananas that's craziness you know the, the, our prenup was no. my suggestion it was my idea you know she i don't want none of her shit if it don't work out bro. you know what i mean i don't deserve well, it now, I don't we want have, it. now it's all going to our kid anyways whatever i'm just saying like that's it, he should be the one recommending it you know what i mean like every it shouldn't yes. be a non-issue yes. he should be the one they listen yes. Let's get a prenup. Let's yes. keep every, you know what I'm saying? Shut everybody up, you That's know? Right. But by not doing that and putting it on her to be like, no, we don't want one. It's a, come on, bro. You know, obviously. Then don't get married. Yeah, you know, it's. Uh, then it, is your engagement even real? You know, because if you're going to say that, then I'm just going to question your engagement being authentic altogether. Nobody gets married without a prenup. I would agree with all of that. Nobody should. Nobody should. Let's put it that way. I would agree with all of that. Well, you mentioned Vita's in the other room. I mean, if she wants to come and say hi, she could. But how is your mom doing? She's so cute. Um, she's really good. She's hey, yes. She's like steps away from us as we speak. Um, our little guy is in preschool. He's going to be home in about a half an hour. They it's just talk about love bomb. My son and my mom together is so beautiful. She loves him and he calls her Gamma Vita. That's just so, started. That yeah. just started over like the last two weeks. She can't get enough of hearing that shit. Let's just put it that way. He's at an age where he communicates every feeling and he'll tell you like as if he reinvented the wheel and he'll be like, the pe the peaches, I don't know, let's like like. Oh, my Chuck is stuck in the wheel. Like, it's just very, very cute where she's trying to, you know, decipher his soft S's. And, and it's but just, she's just also had a tough couple of, she had a tough couple of days too, Vita. A dog passed away two days ago. Oh, so, uh, yes, yeah, she, uh, she said. We don't, we're not going to talk. She wants to take our dog home. I don't want to. She wants our dog home. No, that, said, that can take your dog. You can't. <laughs> my heart is too fragile. Ooh. My heart is too fragile. Um, so, she's, uh, we had, she's, she's, Julio was taken by coyotes two years ago and she still can't talk about it. You know what, David? Can I you tell love you animals. That's good, though. Oh, yeah, can I exactly. tell you something? He is a savage. Okay. This man is, um, he, okay. My, my mom has like this little bit of like this sadness around her because of, because of what Tommy said. I can't repeat it. I cannot utter those words, but yeah, she's, I think that Vita is good when she's taken down the peg. Like sad Vita is a little too tired to be mean. So 